Switching to Arch Linux, day one. Oh man, guys. Ugh. <laughs> this was an adventure. Uh, I thought I would prep for this using a VM. Uh, be it, I might have been a little tipsy when I uh, did the initial install on that VM and kind of tinkered around. But I was not ready for this. Uh, just straight up, I didn't exactly grasp the concept of Arch Linux. Just, uh, I'm going to come out and just lay that out. I mean, I thought Arch Linux, oh, sure, you know, you install it, follow a couple guides, bam, you're up and going. What in the hell? <laughs> I literally uh, thought, you know, hey, it's more like just a little bit. I, I don't know what I thought, but I know it's not Ubuntu. It's not uh, Fedora. It's not any of those other distros that I have tried that just kind of held your hand. Arch Linux is far more crueler, and if you want to get into the Arch ecosystem and you're new, use Manjaro. Do not try Arch Linux. And I'm about to tell you guys why I just said that and why it's the truth. All right, so breaking it down here, just in case you're new to this or you haven't really looked into it, Arch Linux is very modular in the fact that you choose your display manager, your display renderer, your display environment. Uh, your, I mean, your desktop environment, you, how you do your sound on your computer, you're going to choose that. If you don't choose it, you're just not going to have sound. I mean, this is what Arch Linux is. You're installing and making all these choices. So for better or worse, that's what's going on. And if you just think, hey, I'm going to jump into this, download a script, because I forked a GitHub script from somebody that's kind of set all this up. It gave me a basis of what needed to be done. And I was like, oh, you know, hey, this guy looks, you know, like he, he's got a really good up-to-date script. I ran it, and uh, it had some bugs, and some things didn't install, but for the most part, it worked. And then there's some programs I didn't particularly care for that I removed, but it's not the way to do it. I'm, I'm completely gutting that, and uh, I've basically wiped it out and started over again. I'm still not up to date on that fork script, so if you're on my GitHub, just know you're going to have problems. If you run my script, probably, there's going to be some bugs that I still haven't quite worked out, but I'm working on that. Um, but getting back into this, uh, so you, just, you make all the choices. That's the power of Arch Linux, and that's really... For better or worse, that's what I wanted to get to as kind of my first topic. As I do this, I realize that that is awesome. And at first, I hated it. Like, really, really hated it. And I was like, why am I doing this? <laughs> why did I do this to myself? <laughs> why did I inflict such pain? Uh, but uh, as I got going here, as, as I continue down this path, I'm starting to come, I'm turning that corner. It's taken probably, I don't know, eight to 10 hours probably. No, probably not that long, but it's taken several hours at least to really turn that corner because when I first got it installed, I was just like, oh, I just want to install Manjaro or uh, Linux distro that just does it all for you. But then I was like, no, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick to my guns. I'm doing vanilla Arch with XFCE for my desktop environment, which was my second curveball. Um, XFCE, fantastic. Just incredible desktop environment. However, I wasn't ready for the customization of it. It was a little more involved than your traditional one, and to make it look pretty, you kind of have to hack around at it and install a lot more plugins and programs. And uh, I'm going to make an entire customization video over just doing that. But for today's video, I'm going to just leave that right there and move on to the second thing about Arch that I was just like, ugh, package managers. Awesome yet aggravating because you have to learn all of them you have dnf you have yum you have apt and now that i'm on arch we have pacman pacman's what everybody uses for a package manager on any arch based distribution 
Uh, Pac-Man, I rate probably below DNF and APT, as I don't particularly care for much of the syntax, you know, dash dash no confirm and other just nonsensical stuff that I just don't particularly care for. However, you don't install Arch for Pac-Man, you install it for the AUR, or the Arch User Repository. I thought this would be pretty cool, and it is cool. Don't, don't get me wrong here, it's pretty darn awesome. But the wrappers choosing, you know, you have Yo Arch, you have all these other different wrappers. And I, I had to do some research, and I've settled on Yay for installing the AURs. Um, if there's a package in AUR or Arch User Repository, uh, I would use Yay. And Yay, I've really enjoyed. I thought it's been great, but a lot of things I have to drop back into Pac-Man. I wasn't, I, I just hate the fact, one, I hate having to memorize all these new package manager stuff, but God bless, I mean, could we not just modify Yay somehow and just make it work just like Pac-Man without having to ever use Pac-Man? <sighs> That was a little bit frustrating. Really learning that, like I had uh, TeamViewer and oh Steam. Those were the two Pac-Man packages I needed to use Pac-Man for, and I had to like enable a multi-lib um, option in Pac-Man to get that to go. I didn't like it. It was not fun, but it works. You know, it worked. It was fine. Uh, yay was a much more enjoyable experience as I could just go yay dash s and then just type any AUR package and it would just install it or build it seamlessly. I mean, hey, almost all of them worked great unless I messed up and grabbed like something that needed to be done in Pac-Man, which has happened a couple times. So the package managers in Arch, uh, get ready for, you know, you got to really research now. One thing about Arch I will say is their website is by far the best out there. Like when it comes to Ubuntu, I thought their website was the best and their community was awesome. No, Arch is better when it comes to this because you can literally just stay on their website and search and find pretty much anything between the Wikipedia to the package searches, all those things. So if you do try Arch Vanilla, you just get on there, you can look up all that stuff, and it is great. But um, those were my main frustrations, other than, you know, learning everything. <laughs> it has been uh, pulling a lot of uh, long hours here for today, because uh, I just thought this would go a little smoother, and it has not. I would say my drunk install of Arch went smoother than uh, any of this has, but the end results is not so bad. Uh, this is all being done on Arch. All this is being recorded. I did downsample, I think, my video to 24 frames from 30 frames and try in a little bit of a different balance with the sound recording because... Arch gives you that ability to pretty much do anything. Now, the other ones you could, but um, having that from the get-go, the exact packages and everything you want to use, pretty sweet. Once you figure out you need to do all that and you figure out the right packages to use because you can't just go and pull an old script because guess what? Those packages are probably going to be a bit dated. So I wanted to show you what I have so far, guys. This is a little bit small because this is an ultra wide screen, so I had to shrink it down, but I at least wanted to kind of show you how I have XFC set up in Arch. Um, I really am digging like all these extra sensors and all this other stuff here in the bottom. The menu, I still have a lot of work to do. I did switch it over to Whisker from the traditional one. And, you know, I'm, I'm still working through a lot of the hotkeys, things like uh, Terminal, or file manager, I went ahead and switched it from the traditional file manager back to Nautilus because I just really was missing Nautilus uh, file shares and uh, some other things I did here, but I'm, I'm gonna go into that probably more in depth than an actual how to use Arch video. And for today, you know, hey, this is, this, this is a really good experience. Uh, for day one, 
I have to say, uh, it was such a roller coaster of emotions. I had these huge highs where I was like, man, this is the best distribution ever. And then I had these huge lows that was like, God bless America. Why in the world would I need to do this? <laughs> So you'll have these huge range of emotions when you first step into Arch, but I see why people are so fanatical about it. Because if you roll your own way and you find the perfect mixture that works for you, that fits you, oh, it's just it's like making your own distribution. And that's why people love Arch so much. That's why I can see people like pushing for it. Um, Manjaro, I did install briefly on a VM, just kind of tinker around, check it out. I didn't like it. Um, but if you're a beginner, like I said in the beginning of this movie, or beginning of this video, it's just really good. So uh, for those wanting to experience Arch but don't want to deal with all these technical issues, because if you aren't, if you haven't been using Linux for any extended period of time, you're going to have a hell of a time. It's not going to be a pleasant experience unless you really like a technical challenge or um, you're like a hobbyist that really just likes Linux and wants to experience it. So um, that's day one of Arch Linux. It has been, uh, I learned a lot. I, I don't know where I'll end up in the end of this 10-day challenge. It has been far more involved than I thought it would be. I honestly, somewhere in my mind, thought I'd just roll right in here and just be right at home. That is not the case at all, <laughs> because it's still uh, very different. But let me know how what you guys think in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think of the new audio video, video quality. Is my video and audio quality okay? Am I clipping? What's going on there? Um, and, uh, you know, compared to my old videos, uh, I'm really liking the new setup in Arch so far, uh, but I need to get used to it. And probably I'm really looking forward to trying i3 window manager and some other really big aspects of Arch that is just awesome. So uh, that said, I'm going to go ahead and let it go today and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.